Well, good morning on this 11th of December 2018. It is really smoky out here, it stinks. Anyway, the ferment's going quite good. Um, I just started it. It starts beautifully. Got a bit of a cold. Spider web. Yeah, I got rid of that yesterday, it's back again. So yeah, the ferment's going beautifully. Um, as I said, which is pretty cool. So yeah. Um, I just started it. Um, I did this video three or four times because the recording software is playing up. And get rid of that. Nothing worse. You don't want all this crap going inside the car and rusting it out. So I'll do that later. I'll, take, I'll do the video. But yeah, the fair months. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but on the 1st of December, four years ago, I picked up this car. So I had a celebration. Unfortunately, I recorded the footage of the happy anniversary video on the night, but unfortunately, my iPod had a crash and lost that particular video. So sorry about that, guys. But it's been four years since I picked up the Fairmont, and here's to the next four or five years, ten years, hopefully. Um, as I was saying uh, in the video, if push came to shove, then I had to get rid of one of the cars. As much as I love the Merc, it would go. Why? Because they still make the C Class. Not the W205, two of the W205 and the W206. But did they, they did not make Fairmont at all. The Fairmont name is dead. The, the cart's based on the Falcon, dead. Especially the gear. That's, that's, that's as at all. It needs a wash and a paint job. But mechanically, an interior rise apart from the headliner, the interior is in very good condition. Let me show you. Um, so if push came to shove, and I couldn't afford one of the cars, which isn't going to happen anytime soon. Sorry, I look like a mess. I don't know if you, know if you can see me in the reflection. I look horrible today. Oh, as I said, I'm getting a bit of a flu. So yeah, um, random towels in the back just to just to protect the leather. But I've got the sprays, I've got the wipes, I've got the mats. It's a bit dirty, but I do look after you in here quite well, even with the makeshift bloody. The worst thing about the interior though is the headliner. That that always goes on a BA. I think the BFs did it too. The E series did it. My dad's old ED had it. But the XF didn't have that. The XFs were quite good with the headliners. But they were bad with the door handles. And the XFs always rusted around here. Anyway. So I push came to shove and if both cars were in good condition, I'll keep the fair one because this is a future collector's item. I wouldn't be happy about getting rid of the uh, Mercs. I love the Mercs just as much, but they still make the Mercs. So later on I can get another one. But I wouldn't be happy about it. I'm not going to lie. I've cleaned up all along here because all the weeds were growing about here and I just didn't feel comfortable with the weeds being around the car. Also, look at the headlights on this thing. They're not all yellowed up, which is really nice because all these go quite yellow. When it rains, there's a small bit of water getting on, I think it's in this side. Uh, there's a bee around there, I want to avoid that. Oh. And I should show you how clean the engine bay is on this thing. I've kept it quite clean considering it's an engine bay. And this is a fantastic car, you start up every morning and you know it's going to work. Where's the bonnet while this? One thing I disagree with is that the bonnet, it just was a bit cheaply done there. But yeah, um, if they stopped making Mercs and also stopped making the Fairmont, then that would be a whole different kettle of fish. I'd probably actually, I don't know, that would be, let's put the phone down for a second. If they stopped making Fairmonts as well as which they have and Mercs, which they haven't yet, but if they stopped making C classes, then I don't know what I'll go with. So there it is, the engine bay. It's been four years. It's quite hot actually, I just started it. And it's been puffing spider web. It's been a fantastic thing to run and look after. Oils. It's due for an oil change, but uh it's a bit warm, so I don't really want to show it for too long, but it's as you can see, I don't know how good it is on the camera, I've got to clean it off now. The oil is literally still a fresh colour. So, I, I, I am going to get it done in the new year though. Even though it doesn't really need it. Just to keep it well maintained. Uh, the battery's probably getting old now. That's the original battery since I got the car. That battery's from 2014. I only replaced it when I first got it, so... God, that's a bit annoying. And here's the Merc, of course. Is that locked? Let's find out. Yeah, it's locked. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be showing you guys this, but I will. What's in the boot game? Hmm, let's find out. 
Let's find out, shall we? I faded paint. What's in the boot? All that shit. Don't know why I showed you that. Oh, why not? Here's the good old Merc, of course. Um, this is just as good as the fair one in, in different ways. I do love this car a lot. I'll show you the horrible car seat covers. They're really shit quality. Oh, pieces of shit. So, yeah. They literally fell apart. Um, but hey, I tried at least. God damn it. I'm going to have to get some more now. I'm going to have to get some... Probably just get some towels, some makeshift towels like that. Also, I've done this for a reason. That's just starting to come up, so... Just thought I would keep that. I love the glove box. Look how big, big that is. Oh, by the way, I found the aftermarket uh, remote for the thing, so... That's the virus bag, because I had a flu last time I was in this car. And Yeah, I've got the poppy four bun. That's from, um... Oh, Anzac Day. I think it was for World War. World War One, I just have got a bit of a cold still. Really? Really? I don't know if you can see that, that's a nice spider web. Suppose I I should do some shout outs. Um shout outs to I think it's Jackson. I can't pronounce your last name very easily. Um so Jackson, Kurt of course, and I think it's Matt W who used to message about the Ford, so yeah. Leg room in the back is best described as cozy. Almost cramped. But that's to my driving position. That's not too bad. That's that's not too bad. And if I put the front seat to the same position as the front, I can, you know, it's a four-seater car, but it's not a Fairmont size car. Best described as a four-seater and a five at an absolute stretch, because it's rear-wheel drive. But all the better for it. So it's more of a two plus two for me, but again, I sit in the front of this car. If I'm a passenger, I sit in this seat. If I'm a driver, because it's my car, I sit in that seat. So the back doesn't really bother me. Again, no, it's really nice in here. Really nice condition, of course. No exact headliner yet or nothing. No. So, one thing I do have to get done, though, is the tyres are starting to get a bit... They're okay, but well, that one's actually quite bad. So, I'm getting the tyres done. Uh... Maybe today we're gonna call it. My dad's got today off and tomorrow off, so my mentor uses my cars. So we'll probably just have the fair one out tomorrow. I need the one anyway. So I might get the milk done tomorrow because that's got it off. Because the tyres are pretty shit. And that one's not even a matching pair. And they're cheap. Again, I need a wash. I've already washed this thing, but it needs a wash. Anyway, wow. My guy's done a good solid whack. You've got to really slam the doors shut on these things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if I sound like I just got out of bed because that's true and I've got a bit of a flu. So, I'll go and then I'll show you the engine, why not? Uh, you've already seen the engine, but why not? Now, shout outs, shout outs to the people who I linked in the, in the description. Um, you don't have to subscribe to the guys, of course. I'm not going to force anyone to do anything, but yeah. So, shout outs. I was going to open the hood. There we go. Alrighty. So since I've owned this car, I've had to get the front, I've had to get the uh, front suspension read on, not the tyres of course, but I've had to get all new springs on it. I don't know how good you can see in there, but I've got new springs on it, uh, new shockies, uh, new front rotors. Um, the whole front end had to be pretty much replaced. I think it was the shockies, springs, rotors. But that was only a thousand bucks. And everyone goes, oh, Merck's going to cost shit loads. I had it done on the uh, the white BA, not this one, but another BA I had. That cost fifteen hundred. This other cost a thousand to get done. It's actually cheaper to have a bloody Merc. Cheaper for J too. But again, if push came to shove and I had to get rid of one of the cars, the Merc would go because that's a rare car. I wouldn't be happy about that because I love this car just as much as that one. But I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Top hose needs to be replaced, but they don't have them in stock, so I'm getting that on order. But it's okay for now. Just a little bit of seepage with the EV was worse. I love the hydraulic power stream pumps. It's all uh, electronic these days. Um, pretty, pretty small engine, but it looks bigger than what it is. Um, do a one point eight, but it goes quite well. Um, it's not a rocket ship, but it does go quite well. It holds at hundred k's quite well. It doesn't struggle. So yeah. Then they got the oil. That's not leaking. That's just when they put the oil in. They just didn't clean it up too well. So I'll probably do that later. Um, it's relatively clean under here. 
Um, but again, I don't like seeing over the top clean engine bay when you buy a car because you, you don't know what it's hiding. But I've cleaned a bit of it up. It was quite clean when I got it, but it was still a bit more black. It was like that all over. It's like that all over. So uh, I think there's a time and train, time and chain driven, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's rust. So yeah, um, it's had a new, it's had a new. Well, look at that brake loose stuff. Brand new. So. I'm just gonna put the hood down again. This, this video is gonna take hours to upload, probably the whole day. So I'll show you. I'll show you some corrosion this car has. But I did love this car. I love the uh, grills they used to have on the base models and all Mercedes. But now it's just that is grafted around this bit, and it's all flat. It's like 2D now. I think the S class still has that though. And I think you can. I could be wrong. But I think you can get aftermarket emblems for your C-Class, your modern C-Class, the W204s and 205s. Just a tiny bit now, I'm being paranoid. There's a little bit of stuff starting along there. You know, it's along there. I fished all it. So that's what the sticky looking stuff is. So, that's the tire stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's from the ED, that, that mat, if you recognise it. Oh, it's got a little bit of a stuff there, but... Anyway, guys, this is a long video. Uh, it's a bit of a blog update, an unpersonal blog update. I haven't said too much about myself on this update. But I'll say one thing about myself. Um, oh, a little tip, I don't know if you noticed or not, but that's locked. You, you can't get in, the car's locked. There's no button on the interior, I looked everywhere. Went on the forums, because I, mean, I don't know much about these cars. You unlock it, there you go. She opens up. A bit difficult when you're doing it one-handed. And then when you close it, you lock the car. Doesn't open. How cool is that? That's really cool. But I think it's a bit stupid in one way because if all that stuff's up, you can't get your car, your, your fuel. Alrighty, that's my sister's car and my dad's car's over there. Hope you liked. Like, comment, subscribe, and shout out to those people if I can. I'm, I don't know if I will or not, but yeah, I've got to go inside. It's not feeling too well. Have a good one, guys.